Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're talking about a despot deck profile. That's right, despot deck profile. This is a deck profile I've always wanted to really do. Despots have one of the best quality to price ratios in the game. Like the the price of these cards, if you get them off eBay, are cheaper than getting a structure deck. Might even be equal to getting one structure deck. The entire despot despot archetype. Running this deck is actually fairly cheap. But without further ado, let's get into it. Despots have levels one through nine, so we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. Like, we are Drake. One copy of Despot 1. Because uh, he's an Earth Tuner, and that's about it. Three copies of the real good Despots. Three copies of 2. 3 and 4. So, three copies of Despot 2. This is the Searcher of the deck. Three copies of Despot 3. Because, this is my opinion, the best Despot monster. Um, he can special summon when this card, if this card is, or no, when this card is normal summon, excuse me. You can special summon one Despot monster from your deck. Um, four is really strong. Two, obviously, like, like I said, is, search, is a searcher. Um, five and six, uh, five can pop spells. Six can change monster battle positions. Um, and then nine, seven, and eight can get you into some, uh, rank seven, eight, and nine plays. He also has an effect, um, which you are going to want to pay attention to. That effect is that you can target one, um, once per turn during either player's turn, so there's a quick effect. You can target one death spot monster you control against 500 attack and defense. For each death spot card you control. I see people use this effect wrong all the time. Sometimes they'll use it in main phase 1. Or at the start of battle phase. In my opinion the only time you want to use this card in main phase 1. Is if death spot 9 is in, is on the field with this card. And you're going to use the effects together. Otherwise always use death spot 3's effect during damage calculation. And here's why. The only effects that can activate during damage calculation. Are effects that directly affect attack and defense points and cards at spell speed of three spell speed three cards or um counter trap cards three copies of despot four this guy outs every monster in the game essentially um he can get all the way up to 5,000 attack just by his effect alone these are your best three despot monsters in my opinion for the rest of the despots only running two copies of despot five despot six effects not that strong despot seven's effects not that strong um, and Despot 8 is okay, but I'm running um, two copies of Despot 9 instead. Um, and the reason I'm running two copies of Despot 9 is because Despot 9's effect, it is worse than Despot 8. Um, but Despot 9, what his effect is, once we turn to your main phase 1, this card, you can make this card gain attack equal to the combined Despot monsters you control, except for this card. Um, and then it has an Armadi's effect, um, where your opponent can activate effects until the end of the damage step. Um, and if it would be destroyed, you can destroy one Despot card instead, which is also, all those three effects are pretty good. Um, Despot 8 is better at, like, plowing through monsters because it can attack twice. Despot 7's good at, like, ending the game because it can inflict piercing, but this is also really good at ending the game because it can just get super big, it can attack for game and win that way. But the main reason I'm running Despot 9, not only because of its effect, but also because I'm running two copies of True King Lithogasm, the Disaster. Um, this is probably the most expensive monster in the deck. This card, this, this, this card just like fits really well into the archetype. You take out your opponent's extra deck. Um, I'm only running Earth Monsters, so that effect's always going to resolve. And if you open this card with Despot 3 and a monster, that is a true king of all calamities, which is a very strong card. It's going to slow your opponent down, and it's going to make them play at your speed. And if you make someone, and if someone comes down to Despots at their speed, they're rarely going to win. Final monster of the deck, um, Maxi. For the spells, three machine duplication. Should be fairly obvious um, if you know what the card does. Speaking of very obvious, if you know what the card does, one copy of limited removal because it's that one. I'm running three terraforming and three death spot base. There is a deck profile on Team Sam's page that I just disagree with because the guy was only running one death spot base. And I understand death spot base turns off machine duplication um, because of the attack gain. That is an inconvenience. But the, the ability that this card has to give you consistency is so valuable that you have to run six copies of this card, being three Despot Base and three Searchers Terraforming. Despot Base can shuffle back Despot Base. So there's just, there's in my opinion, no legit reason to not run three Terraforming and three Despot Base. The rest of the spells, two Instant Fusion um, to help make Cyber Dragon Infinity. Two Forbidden Lance, so like attack with three, they activate Mirror Force, you activate Lance. Easy. One copy of Upstar Goblin. One copy of Reasoning. One copy of the Monarch Stormforth. Because I am running five, so you can Stormforth away. That's still a fairly strong play. This deck doesn't really use its extra deck very often anyway. And you could st Stormforthing away 
uh, a certain card can be super powerful. One Regeki, one Dark Hole for the board wipes. And then the last spells is a little bit of some cheese. That's what I like. I like some cheese in my decks. Is Messenger of Peace. Um, here's why. Read Messenger of Peace. It says, Monsters with 1,500 or more attack cannot declare attacks during each of your standby phase. Only pay 100. So the cost isn't really that high. Um, but what's cool about it, Despot 3, Despot 2, Despot 3, Despot 3, um, and maybe like a Despot 4. Um, that'd be an ideal field with Despot base because you will have... Um, you will have four monsters. You actually have all your monsters will have 1,000 attack. Um, and so they will all be able to attack. And then you attack with them because you're under Messenger of Peace. Um, and then you can activate their effects and damage calc to get their attacks to be super, super huge. Um, so your opponent essentially is most likely not going to be able to attack with Messenger of Peace up because they're going to have monsters with 1,500 or more attack. But that's not going to stop you because all your monsters start with less than 1,500 attack. Um, and two cards I always love running if I have no other traps in the deck is two copies of Solemn Scolding. That is it for the main deck. For the extra deck, we're talking about um, one Panzer Dragon. Like I said, instant fusion target um, helps make Cyber Dragon Infinity. Speaking of the devil, Cyber Dragon Nova. Um, you don't use his effect. You just use him to make Cyber Dragon Infinity. Um, one of the best plays the deck has. An interesting play that my deck has is it can make True King of All Calamities. So we're running... Two copies of him. Um, some generic rank four. Yeah, some generic rank fours. Um, one numbered 44 Sky Pegasus. Because I'm just for cheese. Uh, one Castell. Uh, this could be literally. These two could be literally any rank fours in the game. Um, those are the first two I could find. Um, for, and the rest are Synchro Monsters. Um, we'll, actually, we'll actually start with the, with the level fives. Uh, Nateria Beast, also a great th play that that can make, um, especially if you have one in the graveyard um, and you beat a monster over with four, you can summon out one with four's effect and make Nat Beast that way. Um, one Brio, because he's Brio. One Goyo, because he's Goyo. And this deck can make him pretty easily. And one Nateria Barkeon. Um, Barkeon's actually really good, in my opinion, because there are so many relevant trap cards in the game. So Barkeon's better than he has been in a while. Um, one Black Rose Dragon, because he's a, he's a blowout card. One Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, because it's a blowout card. One Ignister, because it's a pendulum based deck with a tuner. Um, and then one Despot Jet. Uh, it's not even in a sleeve, because it's a really crappy card. But for sentimental reasons, we have it in here. Um, so that's it. That is the deck profile, um, for, uh, what is it, July 2017. I hope you like it. I hope you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, but most importantly, I hope you guys have a great day.